All right, guys, so last year I recorded a video on how to use Dashware with GoPro. I had a lot of comments on that video saying that the GoPro's Hero 8 and above uh, up to the 11 will not work with Dashware. So I wanted to record a short video today on how to use Dashware with a GoPro Hero 8 and above. All right, so what I've done is I used the GoPro 10 to create some footage of me going through a small town. Here's the video. Now this borderlines Georgia and Tennessee and when we get to the end of the video we'll cross into Tennessee from Georgia. So we'll close that out and now we're going to try to import this footage from the GoPro 10 to Dashware. We'll go on to new project. Uh, we're on GoPro Imperial. Hit OK. We're going to find this video right here. All right, and as you can see, as everybody's been talking about, data extraction failed. We're going to rotate the video. <clears throat> all right, so we have no telemetry data coming up at all. Nothing is tracking. So we will pause that and we will close out everything. And I will show you now how to get that telemetry data from the GoPro 10, 9, 8, and 11. All right, guys, so you can see we're at gopotelemetryextractor.com. Now, this is the easiest way I found to extract your GPX or telemetry data from any video taken from basically any camera. So what we're gonna do this is the free version. I will put this uh, link in the description below so that you can use it. We'll hit free and we will choose our file. And I believe we have this under GoPro right here. It's going to read the file, but it's not uploading the video. It just takes a few seconds. And now we're going to hit GPS, lat long, alt, 2D, 3D speed. From here, you want to extract that GPX data. It will process your data as you can see. And you will see that it's downloading now to your downloads folder or wherever you want that to go. So I pulled that GPX data onto the desktop. That's this file here. Uh, the GoPro 10 file with that video I'm going to open it up and I am going to take this file and cut it, put it over into the GoPro 10 file. Now we can upload both to Dashware. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Okay, so now we've got both of our video and our telemetry data, GPX data, in the same folder. We're going to upload this to Dashware again. So we'll go back to File, start a new project and hit OK. All right, so all of our telemetry data has come up, but no video has been added, so we'll do that. And we get that same data extraction failed. We'll hit OK. And I'm just gonna rotate the video. Now, below video is data files. That's where we're gonna hit plus to upload the GPX file that we downloaded from our website. And you can see it recognizes GPX file, hit add. Now you can see our telemetry data has changed here. Now the next process is synchronization. You wanna have both the video and the data file at the start and just go down here and hit sync video. Once you've done that, you can go back to your project and start editing your project at that point. So you can see, I'm just opening things up a little bit, that everything has changed to synchronize the video with the GPX data. Everything's working perfectly. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, edit some of these telemetry maps and show you what it looks like in the end video. So I have got all the boxes around here moved the way I want them. 
So we've got our tracking box, our G-Force, our miles per hour, speed tracker, the GoPro logo, and then our GoPro map. So we are crossing through a little town I said, goes from Georgia to Tennessee. We'll let this guy turn off here. Now once we get up to the stop sign, we're gonna take a left. We'll be going straight in to Tennessee from Georgia at that point. Now after I move through here, I'm going to speed up the video just to make sure everything is tracking correctly and the miles, distance, speed, everything goes to a plan. Okay, so here I'm going to speed everything up and uh, we'll see what it looks like at the end. All right, guys, so everything tracked very well. Uh, we'll end the video here. I hope this was a great help to anybody using a GoPro Hero 8 and up to 11 using Dashware. But listen, until next time, get out there and create your own adventure.